Hello, this is Jeremy Myers from RedeemingPress.com, TillHeComes.org, and numerous other websites. <clears throat> Today, uh, in this video, what I want to do is show you how to use styles in Microsoft Word to prepare your manuscript for submission to RedeemingPress.com. As you uh, type your book to submit to Redeeming Press, you want to make sure that you're using styles in your word processor, <clears throat> and especially in Microsoft Word, so that when you submit it, it saves you uh, an awful lot of time, hours and hours of headaches later, uh, and, and our editors at Redeeming Press as we try to prepare your book for public publication as well. So what you want to do is open your Microsoft Word, your uh, preferred word processor, and um, pretty much all word processors are the same. I use Microsoft Word. This, I think, is version 2010, maybe 2007, I don't know. But uh, they're all going to be about the same. And um, if you use OpenOffice Online or, uh, you know, WordPerfect, uh, who uses that anymore, but I know some people do, uh, or some of the other things that are uh, available out there. Um, they're all going to have styles, and, and, and you want to make sure that you are using styles. Everything must use styles, okay, uh, in, in preparing your book for publication and preparing your manuscript to submit to RedeemingPress.com. Now, typically, when people aren't aware of styles, here's what they do. They, they are um, typing away, you know, the uh, uh, quick brown fox jumped, okay, and you're typing along, and they want to change something, so they're going to go up here, and they're going to go to the font, and, and you know, change it to a different font, and they're going to change the size, and then they're going to go over here, and they're going to center it, and they're, they're going to put bold, all right? Generally, that's what people do when they want to change the way the font or a paragraph looks or something like that, but um, when you are preparing your manuscript here for publication, for submitting to Redeeming Press for publication, we want to make sure that you use styles properly. And styles are the lifeblood of Microsoft Word. If you're not using styles, you should just take a few minutes and learn what they are and how they work. And hopefully this video is going to help you do that. Now, uh, in the manuscript that you have hopefully downloaded, the manuscript template that you have hopefully downloaded from RedeemingPress.com. Uh, it has all of the styles built in that we want you to use. And uh, they will be up here in this section of your screen here. Um, you can also press that little button and they appear over here. These are the styles that we prefer that you use when you are preparing your manuscript for submitting to Redeeming Press. And here's how they work. So let's say that um, you are typing and you're beginning your manuscript here. In fact, let's just uh, get rid of everything here. Okay, this is, um, you know, a blank page here. And you're using the manuscript and you want to type your book title. Well, you can type in book title and then you can go up here and start messing with all the bold and center and, and everything else. Or you can go up here to the styles that we have built in and prepared for you and choose the one that is book title and look at that it's all set and ready to go the book title it has the uh, these borders up top and it has the spacing above and below it that we want and it's all set ready to go and when you type enter we have the next thing set up that we want you to put in and this is the subtitle for your book title and it's all ready to go subtitle goes here right and um, it, it goes on from there, but um, or maybe you know you want to put in your name here by Jeremy Myers, something like that. Uh, this part is not so crucial because these are easily fixed later on. But let's say that we w are typing our book, and uh, I'm going to just get some random text in here. Um, Okay, so that's a little uh, thing that Word does to allow you to quickly put in some random text if you want. Okay, so you've got your book and you're writing it here. And um, <clears throat> first thing, of course, is you're going to want your chapter. I'm going to call it in. Guess what? We have a chapter title. There we go. And see what it does is we've got it all set up. You don't need to go over here to bold to change the font to center anything. It's all set up ready to go. It puts the chapter title on its own uh, page. It 
puts a little heading space in here. It creates these borders up and be up ab above and below, and it does everything perfectly, just the way we want it for submitting. That's going to save you a lot of headaches and us a lot of headaches later on. All right, and then when you type enter, it goes to the very next thing we want, which is the first paragraph. And you see how the first paragraph is is left. It, it has no indent on the left. No, um, we don't use tabs. Never, ever, 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 <laughs> never use a tab. Um, they really mess things up. We're going to use everything with styles. The first paragraph you see here has um, has no indent. It is fully left justified and that's just the way our styles work and and again we can change these for your book if you want to differences we can easily and quickly change them. We This is the first paragraph style and if you decide or I decide or our editors decide that we do not want the first paragraph to have no left indent then uh, we, we can quickly modify all of the first paragraphs quickly and at once just by going up here and we're going to right click on that style and we're going to modify and it'll open up this we can go to this go to paragraph and see down here it has the indentation left uh, the special we would do first line and we would we would indent it if we want but but uh, that's just something we can quickly and easily do as all as long as all of your first paragraphs have this first paragraph style okay and then of course after you type your first paragraph um, I'm typing away a bunch of junk information here to show you what happens after the first paragraph and you see then we go on to the second paragraph of a section and you can see that it is we have this indent here because we do want the second paragraph and the third paragraph and everything else having the indents. Um, a lot of times it's very helpful to divide your book up into sections just like you would on a blog post and uh, again we have the headings all set up for this we already did the chapter title but we're not going to do that now we want a section title and these you see are centered and they have uh, the bold and um, they're centered without any indents this is a section title all right and you can see that it automatically puts some space above there I actually put uh, an extra return in there and uh, after you're done ty typing it, it goes over and again we have a first paragraph section here. And then after that, a second paragraph which uh, gets indented. I'll say, see how all of these are identical. They all work the same. And uh, you don't need to worry about all of the changing fonts or anything like that when you're typing. You just make sure you use the styles that are all set up for you. And of course if you have, uh, you know, like a, you have your chapter title, you have your section title, and if you have a subsection title, well guess what? We have that set up for you as well. Alright, subsection title, guess what? Subsection title. And you see that this is left justified, it's bold, put in bold, it has a little uh, heading space above it. And after you type that, guess what uh, comes up after that? The first paragraph again. First paragraph of the subsection goes here and after you have finished typing the first paragraph of the subsection you go to the second paragraph see how that works second paragraph okay if you if you know about um, styles then all of this information is repetitive for you and information you don't need but I just want to show you a few of the styles we have uh, we would ask that you really don't deviate too much from these styles there may be a few others that you need but um, let's go down and, and use this dummy text that word has entered inserted for us to show you what a few of these styles look for okay so I'm gonna um, we already looked at first paragraph and we looked at the second para paragraph. Uh, let's look at, we also can you do as a block quote. Okay, see if we're doing a block quote, I want it uh, indented even more than the second paragraph. The, the font is a little bit smaller. And um, then afterwards it goes back to second paragraph. You might be able to hear my daughter singing Father Abraham in the background there. 
but I work from home partly, so <laughs> this is part of what you get. <laughs> and uh, okay, paragraph. All right, so that's the block quote. Sometimes you might want um, a centered quote. I sometimes put those in my books at the top of the chapters, underneath the chapter titles. And um, I do have heading fours. Don't use this heading five. I actually don't know if you see that. These are pretty much the only ones that you should be using. The block quote, the book title, the first paragraph, footnotes if we use them, um, normal, that's the second paragraph and everything else. Um, let's see. Uh, you could go as deep as heading three if you want. You see heading three down there at the second paragraph? That is left justified as well. It's uh, put in bold. And um, subsection quote. Oh, and if you're using lists, bulleted or numbered lists, that sort of thing. Now, what if you want to highlight or bold a few words? If you want to put, say, quick styles in, in italics, some people prefer that you use styles for that. Those would be called character styles. We're not using character styles uh, in this manuscript template. We're only using paragraph styles, paragraph level styles. So if you wanted to highlight or bold or something, uh, we really do not want you to do use, use underline. But if you want to put uh, something in bold, well, that's when you can go up here. And uh, you're not going to change the font, change the font size, anything like that. Just go up there and you can do bold. Um, or you can do uh, italics that way. And if you're going to change something, change it that way. And uh, that's how you can ch and, and change. That's about pretty much the only time you're ever going to be going up to this section of your word processor is if you want to put something, you know, a word or a, a few letters or a phrase maybe in bold or italics. And that's about it. Other than that, use styles for absolutely everything. So I hope you uh, this helps you understand how to use our manuscript template for submitting your book manuscript to redeemingpress.com. If you don't know much about styles, you should open up the manuscript uh, template which you can download from our website and play around with styles, see how they work understand a little bit more about them and really start using them to the best of your ability and uh, it, 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 in all of your documents it's going to really help your uh, writing career if you learn how to use styles rather than messing around with all of these parts of, of uh, your your um, word processor okay and if you need to know and for more information just do some searching online for using styles in Microsoft Word and it will show you everything you need to know about using styles in your word processor if you use something different than Microsoft Word you know openoffice.org or something like that well go ahead and search for those um, or Google Docs or something like that I know Google use has their own word processor again our preference is Microsoft Word but I do know that sometimes it's expensive to purchase and so different people use different things um, which is fine but again most of those should be able to save your document as a Microsoft Word document so that you can send it in to Redeeming Press when you submit your manuscript if not we'll work with that too it's no big deal but to do no matter what try to use styles and uh, especially this manuscript template which you can download from redeemingpress.com thank you very much and we look forward to reading the book that you submit we hope this video has been helpful and uh, if not, you can go to the website, ask questions, send in some emails, and uh, we will answer those. Uh, any, any other information that you might need. We want to help you submit your manuscript in a way that is uh, helpful for you and helpful for us as we prepare it for publication. Thank you very much. Talk to you later.